Hello, everybody. Um, thank you very much for having me here. I suppose many of you are not familiar with me because I'm mostly working with Stephanie the Beatles. But at the same time, I'm a Beatle curator at the Zoological Museum of Hamburg. And today I would like to tell you more about Cuculionoidea part of our collection. First, I will share some historical facts. The museum was first opened in 1891. Um, and uh, in the beginning and pre-war time, it contained around uh, one and a half million specimens and around 10,000 uh, types. Unfortunately, during the Second World War, um, during the Hamburg bombarding, the whole museum building was destroyed, um, as well as many of the collections. The only one which uh, survived from the insect part was the alcohol collection, but almost everything from the paint collection was destroyed. And those which were uh, which survived were kept in the subway station. Um, after the war, there was a huge effort from the naturalists from Hamburg and the overall northern uh, Germany to rebuild the collection. And right now we have around 3 million specimens and uh, again, 10,000 types, um, although different than those from, uh, from pre-war time, with around 3,100 coleoptera types. Museum for a long time belonged to University of Hamburg, but uh, recently it was merged with uh, Alexander Klinisch Museum in Bonn. And now together we constitute um, a Leibniz Institute for the analysis of biodiversity, ch biodiversity change. And I'm saying that because it uh, can be confusing with all the abbreviations, but the collection material usually goes with um, ZMH. Due to the difficult history of the collection is largely uh, unknown for the community. And uh, that's why my idea of having this talk and showing you uh, how the Kukulionoidea part of the collection looks like. Uh, overall, uh, it is dominated by uh, family Kukulionidae, uh, which I suppose is not surprising. And it's followed by um, Atelabidae, then a bit of Brentidae, um, Antribidae, and the other families constitute less than 1% of the collection. Among all the material, uh, around 28% is uh, non-identified, uh, and it uh, comes from different ages and different regions. Many of these uh, specimens were collected uh, pre-war, in pre-war time, uh, and they were donated afterwards to the museum in this big effort of uh, uh, renewing the collection. Among Cuculionoidea, uh, we have a significant amount of type specimens. As I said, overall in the collection, we have 3,100 uh, coleoptera types, and one third of them um, constitutes Cuculionoidea. The main group uh, is Atelabidae, followed by Brentidae and Cuculionidae, with more or less the same number of uh, types, and very few from Nemonihidae. Majority of those types are coming from uh, Edward Foss, who was a great uh, Cuculionoidea researcher uh, with a main focus on Atelavide. He started publishing before the war in uh, 1919 and published a lot. Uh, many of his types from the pre-war time uh, are stored in different collections in Europe, but unfortunately, most of his collection uh, he kept at his home in Hamburg, and it was also destroyed uh, during the bombarding. After the war, he made a, um, an effort to build a new collection, and he described uh, hundreds of uh, species afterwards. The majority of this uh, collection is kept in um, that MH. Among At Atelabide, um, it may be not the major part of the collection itself, because uh, it's only 34 drawers, but almost all of these drawers are filled with types, and overall, we have 841 uh, types. And here you can see the example of the drawer where the yellow, uh, the pink label means there is some kind of a type specimen inside. And as you can see, most of the drawer is filled with types. Unfortunately, this part of the collection is not digitized yet, um, but uh, whenever you want to see something, you want to know something, um, just please contact me, I will make it available. The other main type collections, uh, so Brentidae and Cuculionidae, are fully digitized with uh, all labels um, written and the uh, pictures taken. And they are kept in the separate part of our collection, which is uh, fireproof cabinets. 
And from Brentida, we have 260 uh, types. Cuculionida um, constitutes the largest part of Cuculionida collection, um, taking uh, 168 drawers uh, with 257 uh, types. And they are also fully digitized with uh, and databased. Um, these two groups will be, these two groups of type spe specimens will be published as separate catalogs. Um, and the work on these catalogs is led by my colleague, Matthias Seidel. Overall in the museum, we have a large effort uh, towards digitization of all collections with many uh, data and pictures uh, already available on the university-based uh, website and system, which is called Fundus. But right now we are working on transferring everything to the diversity workbench. And we hope that soon it will be open to the public and uh, constantly being improved. In addition of taking care of uh, pinned collection and uh, old samples, uh, I also uh, try to build uh, or extend the collection with uh, freshly collected samples. And uh, this year I undertook with my research group two major field trips, uh, one to Southern Caucasus, uh, to Armenia and Georgia, and another one to uh, Amazon forest in Ecuador. Uh, we call, like our focus are staphanids, but we collect all beetles um, with the major uh, methods being sifting leaf litter, um, processing the substrate with thinklers, but also beating vegetation, and setting up malaise traps and FIT traps. I would like to welcome all of you to visit our collection or uh, let us know if uh, anything is needed from the type material and non-type material. Uh, we have uh, uh, different photo equipment available here with uh, macro and uh, micro system, also Kians. Um, we are able to take the whole drawer pictures if anybody is interested in non-identified material. We have also a ta uh, tabletop SEM available here um, in place, as well as molecular lab in order um, if someone wants to work with uh, molecular samples. Uh, there is some funding available from the Institute for such visits. Um, and we are now also part of synthesis program, which the new call synthesis plus is over now, but uh, it's highly likely that there will be new one open. Um, so anybody is uh, free to apply for visiting us. And please contact me um, by email if uh, anything from the collection is interesting. I would like to thank you very much for the attention. Um, we collect rove beetles. So if you have some which you don't need, please let me know. And uh, I will be happy to take any questions.